In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Join us today as we ride out to the confluence of the Susitna and Yetna rivers to a place the locals call Scary Tree to watch the 50th running of the Iditarod, where 32 teams of musher and dogs make their 1,000 mile journey from Willow to Nome. As always, we want to thank you for watching. Now let's get into today's episode. As you can tell, Gary and I have spent a lot of time on our snow machines this winter. This is our first winter of really getting to use our machines, and I'll be honest, when I started the season, I had never ridden a machine on my own. I had always been a passenger. And when I first started riding as a novice, 14 miles an hour scared the living daylights out of me. So, this day, as we are going to the Iditarod out at Scary Tree, the conditions were perfect. In every ride, I always challenged myself to do something new, either go out into the swamps and carve, or hit that next mile per hour mark uh, as a new record. And this day, I did it. I hit the fastest I had ever gone on my machine and honestly I think it's the fastest I could go because it would not go any more than this. 85! 103! <laughs>
Here we are. You want to explain it? So yeah, we've been following this uh, moose uh, for a little while now, and uh, she's wanting to stay on this trail because it's, it's a nice hard trail, and there's four to four feet plus of snow right there. So she's having a hard time walking in the deep snow. Um, moose are, are really aggressive animals. Um, if you approach them too quickly, they have a tendency to charge, and they charge hooves first. And when their hooves are bigger than my hands, they do a lot of damage. So there's a respect issue going on right now. We're giving her the space that she needs. So, and where we need to go, it's wide open. It's like a hundred yards away. Right, you can see through those trees. That's that's the big Sioux, the river that we're going to. And uh, she's just she's holding us back. But she is off the trail right now. We'll give it a few, and uh, see what happens. She's munching on something so. uh -huh. every day just daily life in Alaska See what's coming down the trail right there? That's not a dog sled. Is it gonna land? It be landing right there. See that? I think it's landing right there on the river. Yep. And down. What? I guess he's just using the uh, Iditarod trail as a, as a uh, taxiway. Well, he came to join us. There you go. You know, a lot of snow machines out here and an airplane. That's kind of cool. So, hey guys, welcome to Scary Tree. This is uh, a major intersection, or not an intersection, but just a major part of the course for the 2023 Iditarod. This is the largest, the toughest, the biggest uh, sled dog race in the world. It goes from, well, it start is in Anchorage, then they do a restart in Willow, and they go all the way out to Nome, Alaska. So just under a thousand miles on our dog sled. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how long it takes them, a, a week? Eight to ten days. Eight to ten days. That's amazing. So, yeah. our last time when we were, I had GoPro issues, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on with my cameras, but. Not good luck today. The last time I actually took the phone out and talked to you guys, we were dealing with the moose. Uh, yeah. And that was just the beginning of dealing with this moose. We were stuck for about an hour and we had a traffic jam what we had about 10 machines probably 10 machines 12 14 people yeah and the moose just would not let us pass oh she was holding that trail hard she she was not happy she was very angry and unfortunately all 10 of us no one had a pistol to make noise so yeah not to shoot the animal but just to scare the animal away you know a big loud bang sometimes will scare the animal away we tried our whistle that we have on board she wouldn't didn't phase her i did get the shovel out and i banged the shovel several times fairly loudly and that scared her and, and she I think charged. prompted her to charge a moment later she didn't get all the way to us it was it was, it was a, a false false charge. charge which is still scary as heck because it, even though she wasn't a huge animal she was big enough to do a lot of damage to any one of us so yeah at all times we were trying to put the sled between her and us and just be aware of what she could do. We bunched up, uh, yep. the group of us, especially all the women. Uh, <laughs> the guys tried to protect us. Uh, we eventually had to break trail and go around. She wasn't getting off the trail and, and you know, there's down trees and snags and all sorts of weird stuff when, when you're not on the trail, we weren't quite sure. So somebody else with more experience than us actually went down through and broke a path and uh, we're able to follow that uh, mostly fairly easily. There was a couple of instances where we had to help out another lady get her machine unstuck. Um, but we all got out safely after an hour delay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, but, uh, it was a little spooky, a little yeah. scary. Uh, moose, that's the number one deadly animal in Alaska. You know, her, she, had, uh, she, was, she was aggressive. She had her ears pinned back, her hackles were up. Her, her 
her neck was all flared out. Her hackles were just standing on end. It was a bit scary to see. So. As you can tell, it's getting really busy here. Yeah, it is. We're at a place called Scary Tree. Um, the Scary Tree. Well, it's not there anymore. So, Scary Tree used to be a tree on the bank here. It looked like it was going to fall down. Kind of like down. that big one over there hanging over the edge, but that's so right up there. to that one, but uh, instead, if you see over here, there's some branches with little ghost bags on it. So, we're here with the masses to watch the running of the Iditarod. Yes. And being on the water for this one. Just kind of water It's, uh, what's the time check, oh, babe? Time check. 304. 304. So they've been on the trail for an hour. Yeah. And uh, another gentleman was totally telling us that they should hit here around 315, 330. So we're Not close. Longer. We're close. Yep. And my gosh, the amount of people, planes, snow machines, moose, and everything. Yeah, <laughs> we just had a moose come through. <laughs> Luckily, he stayed away and uh, just skirted the uh, side of the river. But yeah, switched out into warm fur hat and uh, just hanging out, enjoying the sunshine and waiting for the dogs to come through. Oh yeah, got us nice out here. I can feel the warmth of my face. It feels so I good. can feel the warmth of the sun. Uh, Absolutely. Sun. I'm glad I brought our sunglasses. Oh, yeah. so. yep. March sun is so nice. Good times. It's 4.03 and still no sign, but considering the air traffic has really oh, it's ramped up. up. A lot. I think we've got five planes just landed down there. Um, I think they are close. They're getting close. They're getting close. We keep looking and down that way. As well as the planes. I mean, the, the number of machines have There's shown up. There's another plane landing down like there. The number of machines have shown up. Holy crap. There's a lot of people out here right now. Oh, he's coming He's coming right down the road. And I'm, I'm... He's right down the trail. <laughs> Hopefully I catch it. Okay, that was cool. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't 30 feet off the ground. So, still quite the party going on. People have barbecues. I've seen a wood stove. <clears throat> yep. Lots of drinking. Everyone's being respectful though and uh, not crazy, mm -hmm. but just having a good day. A we couldn't ask for be better weather. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I don't know. It's cold. It's cold. Got to have gear on, but uh, the sun is making it so nice. Yes. I can feel the sun on my face. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it helps for what is exposed. It feels good. Yeah. If we didn't have that sun, uh, I would have face one. mask. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're having fun. Any minute now, we should see a, a sled dog, sled dog team coming around the corner. So, for the time being, the planes are providing the entertainment. Oh, the machines, people are playing on the machines, having fun here and there. Yep. And uh, just goofing off. Yep. Enjoying life. That's what you do out here on a frozen river. <laughs> Hard to believe this is all water. Right. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, here comes the first team. <clears throat> Coming down the straightaway right now. This is the first team out of Willow. Making it down to the Yetna River. Scary tree crossing. The musher stopped and he's checking on his team, making sure they're all doing okay. Giving us a nice little personal show. Yeah. Cool. They just want to go. They do. These dogs are doing well leading. There you go. Get outside. Well, that was cool. Team, the first team, and he was team number five? Five, and there's 32 teams left. Is that how there's many? There's 33 is teams this year, I believe it was. All right, well, yeah. that was fun. I see team two. Next team. Oh yeah, the next team's coming. coming. The we'll uh, maybe get out a little closer. I uh, don't want to get in their way, but pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> they did too. Okay, second team through, and the third team is already coming right up. That's kind of nice how they're yeah. nicely stacked. Not too far apart. All right, we'll turn around and show you the next team. The dog's going to follow the stakes. Good job! And just like that, the fourth team is coming up the trail. So that team that just went by was Brent Sass, and he has won. He won last year. Yes. Yeah, he was the Iditarod champion last year. All right, it's only been maybe a minute, a minute and a half, and the next team is in sight. They want to turn, folks. Oh. <laughs> no. And turn. <laughs> So 
I've gotten down on the dog level. I'm sitting on the ground. The dogs are trained to follow these stakes, so I'm just right off of some of the stakes. And here comes our next team. Being down on the level of the dogs, the dogs are literally looking me in the eye like, hey, it's pretty cool. There's Gary over there. Looking at all the machines, but I see another team coming. Wow, it's still happening. We still got a bunch of teams coming through. Uh, people are handing them food and snacks and, and uh, well, yeah, turkey legs, cheese kind of stuff going out to the to the runners. Uh, mushers. This is awesome. Mushers, honey, not mm -hmm. runners. Mm -hmm. Race runners, mushers, yeah, wherever they are. They're mushers. They're mushers. Actually, that sign right down there, I can't see it very well from here, but there's a sign no, signpost over there that says, I love mushers. So that's what we got going on here. A bunch of mushing. Kind of cool. And just like that, another team's on her way. Good job! Keep it up! Way to go! Nine hundred and like eighty-nine miles. That's too far. That is a long way. A long ways on a, on a dog sled. All right, here comes another team. Two teams coming within sight. 18, there we go. Way to go, Eddie! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Matthew from Willow. Matthew, Matthew from Willow. Way to go, Matthew! Woo! Yeah. 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 They're up there! Hard to tell. 17, 17. Eric Kelly from Connect. Way to go, Eric! Go! 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 Katie Joe from Fairbanks. Katie. Katie Joe. Way to go, Katie! Katie, way to go! Woo Keep it up, Katie! Woo! 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 No, this way, this way, this way! There you go! <laughs> Is it 19? Yep. Bridget Watkins from Fairbanks. What's the name? Bridget. Bridget. Good job, Bridget! Come on, Bridget! Good job, Bridget! Way to go, Kelly!
great day to be outside. This is so fun. Cheering on the dog, the, the dog sled teams as they come by. Talking to other folks that are just out here enjoying the same thing, doing the same thing. Seeing all the activities happening. This is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Here comes a team now. Look at them. Pushing down the trail. Number 22. What did you say the time it was? Five o'clock. What's that mean? Beer time. I fireball time. I wish I had a beer, but I got fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are going to wrap it up here soon. We have about an hour and a half ride back home. Mm -hmm. And it would be nice to get home before the sun sets. Well, we got lights for that. I'm not worried about it. We know where we're going. We've right been up. on these trails. The crowd is lightning. Actually, it is thinning quite quickly. But, uh, and the other problem is we don't know exactly where we are in the count. Oh, for the, for the mushers. For the yeah. mushers. There's been a lot to gone by, but there's 30, 30 mushers, so I'm not sure where we are. Yeah, so I think we're getting near the end. Correct. So I think we're going to call this a wrap. A wrap. A wrap. <laughs> and we're going to head home, so... We will see you back at the house. Back. Or in the middle of the trail. Well, yeah, if we have another, hopefully no more moose excitement. <laughs> All right, bye. Right. As we're packing up to leave, we've got three more teams coming, so uh, we'll catch them as they go by. Oh, oh this way, over here. <laughs> there oh, they oh. go. <laughs> there you go. I don't want to go yet. <laughs> I, I just enjoy this. This is nice. Even though it's thinned out, there's still quite a few people around. Yeah. Yeah, there are. Yep. Hot hair, I can't help it. Uh, yeah. It's time to switch out to our helmets and get ready for the ride home. Uh, we're unsure if there's 
still teams out on the trail, but it's time to head back. The sun's getting lower, and uh, we have moose spaghetti waiting for us at home. So, all right. This time we're really going to turn off the camera and uh, head back. So, we'll see you back at the house. Bye. So, I just needed to stop and show you the surrounding mountains. It is absolutely gorgeous. So, flipping the camera. As you said, I'd miss it. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful evening. The sunset was amazing. The colors are full in the sky right now. It is so, so beautiful. We had to stop and take a couple photos and talk to you guys about this amazing backyard that we have. So fortunate, so blessed to uh, call Alaska our home. Uh, this is just, this is beautiful. I love it. Absolutely. We are almost home. We've got a little ways to go, but we are definitely on the home stretch. Yep. And uh, it's been a long day. Uh, I don't know what time it is. Do you? I don't know. My phone's in the... I can't get to it. Right Stand by. All right. I just did a time check. It is 646. We well, left the river at 530. Right. It's an hour and 15 minutes to get out this far. I'm not sure what the mileage so far is. And I'd uh, say we have a half an hour, less than a half an hour home. Yeah, not too far. Yeah, so we just want to thank you for uh, watching today's adventure. Oh, lots of fun. But now we live in Alaska, so we get to show you the Alaska life and what we do on a daily basis. So it kind of gives you an idea of why we wanted to move here. This is it. Yeah, so, it's, summer's it's beautiful, but winter. Yeah. I mean, it's just as beautiful. And yeah, we have our helmets on right now and goggles and all that because it's kind of not the easiest just to whip the helmet off and do all this stuff. So it's set right now really nice. I don't have any wind gaps. And I think Stacy's good too. So <laughs> yeah, we, we just did a, a, a five mile stretch, about 50 miles, 50 miles an hour, just running down the straight stretch. You can see it, and the cut right there. Right down through there. So. so. It was no wind. Good. Today, I hit the stretch 85 miles an hour. And what did ah, you do? Shoot, I got you on that. I only hit 103. <laughs> Just 103 miles an hour for the whole stretch. Like from here to five miles that way. So it, it was a record for both of us for uh, speed. So, And we do that kind of stuff in the morning on the, on the, when we start our run because we're fresh. I don't want to do it right now because I'm fatigued, worn out. Yes. We want to get home in <laughs> one piece. Yep. All right. Well, we, uh, God, that, that sunset is absolutely. I think you need to walk forward and get the machines in the sunset. Oh, that's a good picture. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Gorge. Yep. Oh, right. Okay, definitely not as beautiful this direction. <laughs> oh, look, that's the full moon. Is it full? Yeah, yeah pretty much. That's a pretty much full moon right there. And we've got the mountains. They're in the dark. They were shining earlier, but right there. That's the magic. So, if you like this video, please give us that big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And uh, leave us a comment down below if you have any questions. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.